hey guys do you like my new haircut because I like it um, I figured for today's video since I do want to do like a makeup purge and declutter I figured I would start with my lipsticks because I'm missing one right now because I'm wearing it but I literally have so many of them so you and I are going to do this together. Okay, so starting out, I do have some things in my drawer already that I am going to get rid of just because they don't look good on me. And I know someone commented that they didn't like it when they touched my hair, and I'm sorry, it's a habit. Um, but I'm going to start with the one that I wore today, which is Mauvy Night by Revlon. It's a cream finish. And it's purple, which I really like. Which means that I can go ahead and get rid of this Bobbi Brown one. Which, even though it is a more pigmented purple, and this is more of like a nudie purple, the formula of this Bobbi Brown lipstick is literally so drying on my lips. Like, I don't like I did not think of, of this. Um, I'll just put them in a pile down here. Okay. So the next Revlon one I have is Pink in the Afternoon, which you guys know if you've watched my videos for a while, I love Pink in the Afternoon, so I'm keeping that for sure. Um, I have one Rimmel lipstick. I want to get more. I love these. This is in the shade Airy Fairy, and... This is it right here compared to Pink in the Afternoon. And you can tell that Airy Fairy is more of like a gray tone pink. But like it's not like a gray tone nude so I don't look dead. So the reason why I swatched these two are because these are the main pink nudes that I wear all of the time. So if I have any colors that even look similar to this, I'm going to have a problem. So the first one I'm going to swatch is this little mini Marc Jacobs one. This is in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And it's fairly different, I'd say. So, I mean, it's darker than both of them. So, there's that. This YSL red lipstick. I don't wear red lipstick that often. But when I do, it's usually this one. So it's that one right there, so I'm keeping that. And then I have this little teeny tiny Sephora cream lip stain that I don't think I have ever worn on my lips. Oh, but it is such a very pretty pigmented red. It's this one right here. It smells kind of good too. That was weird. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um. And then I have a matte red, and this is a darker red, so I'm hoping that it doesn't look like either of these. No, it does not. It's more pink toned right there. So I'm keeping that as well. I'm not off to a good start. I've only gotten rid of like one. Um, I did just buy all these Maybelline ones, so I'll probably just keep them. But this one is Touch of Spice. And I really like this one. And then I have Lust for Blush, which I also like. But I'm afraid that it looks similar to... No. No, it doesn't. Okay, so Lust for Blush. And... What is this? Almond Rose? This is pretty. And obviously that's why I bought it. But. Oh, those are kind of similar. Okay, so I kind of swatched them next to each other right there. But this is Almond Rose. Oh no, actually, they look kind of different on camera. Okay. I'll have to swatch them side by side again later. Um. This Urban Decay one, the shade Big Bang, it's gorgeous, but it is extremely 
pigments it and it's glittery so it's kind of grainy but honestly I wear this sometimes I didn't break it so I'm gonna go with that I have this wet and wild matte in the shade bare it all now if you watch my other videos I do have a review on a lipstick from this line but it was more of a red one I like this one. I feel like the nude ones are a lot easier to work with. It's still dry and it's still like tuggy. But once it warms up, it's not that bad. So I also have a Smashbox liquid lipstick. Always on liquid lipstick in the shade driver seat. So this one probably looks like something I already own. Um actually kind of it kind of looks like this wet and wild one um let me put all the ones that kind of look alike together so I know that I have to go through them all again okay and then I have a Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in the shade bombshell which I love so, I'm like really cleaning this off. Oh no, this one is a lot more similar to that Wet n Wild one. Because this is the Huda Beauty one right here. This is the Wet n Wild one. And the Huda Beauty one is different from the Smashbox one. So, Smashbox can stay. Now this Bite Beauty one... This was a pretty color when I bought it. And I still think it's a pretty color. Don't get me wrong. And I don't have anything like it. And I just got that like all up in my arm hairs. But oh well. Except it kind of reminds me of like baby puke or something. So I'm still not sold on it. But I haven't worn it with. A lot of different things yet so I also have a lip liner in here that I use when I wear like regular lipstick so I am keeping this it's just uh it's by Rimmel it's zero zero universal it's literally just like a clear little thing so I broke it actually I think that's why I haven't been using it is because I broke it and I didn't mean to break it, okay? It kind of just happened. Okay, so I have a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Perla. Now, I did keep the box for this, and this color and the color on the box are different. So, still trying to figure that one out, but I am not mad. Um... So I'm like trying to clean around the sides of it. This is Perla right here. And I thought that, because if you look at them in the packaging, they kind of look the same. But they're actually not. This is the Elf T Rose Liquid Lipstick. And it has the same applicator that the Smashbox one has. The little pointed one with the dip in the middle. And this is like the worst place for a swatch. But they kind of look alike. But when I put them on my lips, the Stila one is a lot, um, it's a lot more gray. So it's a lighter of a color. I am doing awful. <laughs> I am so bad at this. Okay. The Ciate London liquid velvet lipstick in the shade oh honey i actually wore this a couple of days ago i didn't wear it yesterday because i wore i don't remember what lipstick i wore yesterday which is awful um let me swatch this over here with my nudes no i definitely do not have one like this where where is it right here 
Although what I will say is I do not like the formula of the Ciate ones because they don't dry down all the way. And I'm going to make a video about... Oh, that's... No, I didn't wear that yesterday. I have a video on that coming up. But it, it's going to be a while before it goes up because I've done like a lot of filming and everything. It might be up next. I don't know. I haven't decided the order of my videos yet. Um, and then I have this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Berry Recognize. This is definitely berry toned, but I don't own... It is darker than this one. I don't remember what that one is, but it's darker than that one, so it's good to stay. Okay, and then I have this uh, Rebel Rose Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. And I'm going to swatch this over here with my nudes. And then over here with my pinks. Oh, no, 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 no. This better be different. Um... It, it kind of looks like both of them. Okay. That's going to be a struggle. So let me grab these babies. Okay. And then I have the e.l.f. Blushing Rose Liquid Lipstick as well. I did buy these because I wanted to try them out for a video. But I have so many lipsticks that like... No, okay, you know what, this one, this one is different enough, so I'm going to keep that one as well, because I don't think it looks like any of the other ones. Okay, and then these Rimmel ones, I like these to a point, but they are super drying, so, um, this one is... I don't think it's similar to anything I own, but, well, maybe the Wet n Wild one. No, it's darker than that. But you know what? I, I'm going to get rid of it. Good job, Dante. Okay, this pink one, this is in the, sh oh, shoot, this was in the shade... Make Your Move, and this one is in the shade Wish Upon a Berry. Um, I like this color more because it's a lot more pink toned, but that's what it looks like, and it's different enough from all the pinks that I have. I'm going to go ahead and keep it, even though I'm only getting rid of two, and I still feel bad about keeping all of these. I'm going to go through all the ones that I have to re-go through and I'll insert a clip of that again once I wipe all these off so let me wipe these off and we'll come back with a clean hand and all right we are back and I'm gonna start with these oh also I did not get all that off so okay the first one I'm gonna go in with is Rebel Rose which honestly, I should probably just use like every day. I'm almost out of it actually, which makes me really sad. So, Rebel Rose and then the Elf one. Okay, you know what? Actually, these are pretty different. I don't know why I thought they were similar. And then the Stila one. All three of these are different enough to keep. But actually, I'm thinking I might get rid of this Stila one because I don't want to take this lipstick off, but I do need to try the Stila one on my lips. So I'm going to put this actually in a chai pile and then I'm going to go through these all again and make a chai pile. Um, this nude wet and wild one again the shade is bare at all and this huda beauty one in bombshell 
I still have a lot left in here. I could probably put these in like a use up thing and then that way like they would just be like all used up and everything. Okay. These are literally exactly the same thing. I, you know what I'm going to do? These two, since they're almost gone, and I have a backup of this, and this isn't that expensive if I want to rebuy it. I'm going to put both of those in my everyday makeup drawer just to make sure that they get used. And I'm going to put this one in the try pile too. And then Airy Fairy. And Almond Rose. Are, now that I'm looking at them like this, they're actually different. Um, Airy Fairy is a lot lighter. So I am going to go ahead and keep those. I am going to put this Ciate one also in the try pile. I feel bad because I just bought those and this bite one again. I need to try it with um, I had it on over a stain of red lipstick so I need to try it without that. Um, okay so I'm keeping those keeping this other elf one you know what, actually I'm, I'm gonna just get rid of this normal one because I'm not I don't reach for that, and I want to keep products in here that I reach for. Um, okay, these need to go in my everyday makeup drawer. Um, this one, I don't reach for this, and I feel bad because I love this color. It's the um, Berry Recognize one, so I'm going to get rid of that one too, and it hurts me to even think about getting rid of that but I'm just not using it enough to justify keeping it so I am going to keep these other oh shit just got lipstick on that I'm glad that like wipes away okay um I'm going to keep my other two Maybelline matte ones as well. Um, okay, when it comes to a red lip, these are all probably the most similar. And I don't think I swatched all my reds together. So YSL. Um, Wet n Wild. And my little baby Sephora one. Okay. Here's the thing though. As much as I want to wear the Sephora one, I just don't. I mean, it's cute and it's fun to look at, but I just don't use it. And it is similar to the YSL one, like shade-wise, it's similar to the YSL one, but formula-wise, it's similar to the Wet n Wild one. I'm gonna get rid of this, actually. <laughs> My heart is aching, you guys. I get so attached to these. So, I am gonna keep both the YSL and the Wet n Wild, just because one is, one is matte and one is a satin finish. On this Urban Decay one, Oh, I need to try this out too. This Marc Jacob one, I know I'm keeping. These two Rimmel ones, obviously I'm keeping these. I love these so much. And the Smashbox one. Um, let me make sure that it's not similar to any of these. I, I feel like it's not, but oh, maybe, maybe it is similar to the Ciate one. I remember the Ciate one looking kind of like this. Or is this one more brown tone? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, 
I am going to keep this Matchbox one. And then I'm going to go ahead and off of camera. Maybe I might record it. I don't know. I'm going to try on these five that I need to retry. And I will go ahead and pick from there. So you guys are coming along on this journey with me. The first one I'm going to try on, since my lips are clean. Excuse me, I am so sorry. Is this Bite Beauty one? Do you see what I mean about the shade? Like, it, like, uh. I would have gotten a different shade, but this was literally the only shade they had, and it was 24 cents, and I was not going to pass up on that. Oh, shoot. So, like, if it's 24 cents, why? Okay. Literally, I feel like I just covered my lips in baby barf I I want to review this lipstick though because it is such a high-end brand I do want to review it so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it for that purpose but then after that I'm gonna get rid of it so like maybe not a baby barf but like Mud. I'm sorry. I still have chocolate on my lips from lunch. Um. Okay. The next one I'm gonna try is this Urban Decay one. but it's not grainy so I am gonna keep it so I can review it but then after that I don't know it is a vice lipstick so I think I'll keep it because I do want to get a full-size one of those but maybe not in that shade I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Also, I got new glasses, guys. I forgot to mention that. Okay, this Stila one, I might just get rid of anyway because I'm keeping, of all of the new ones that I bought, I'm really not keeping, like, okay, Huda Beauty is high end, but I've had that one for a while, and... The Bite Beauty one, once I'm done with it, I'm just getting rid of it. The Ciate is like $19. Like, that's expensive. That's expensive. Okay, so. This is soft. I like that. I need to turn my light on, but you... Someone mentioned they didn't like it when I got up, so I'm just gonna... I actually do not like this. Am I the only one, like... I don't like how light this is, and that's my own personal preference. So... I'm gonna keep it to review it and then I'm not. I know you guys could come get like bombarded with um, product reviews. So I'm trying to like space them out like every other video or something. Also, um, if you watch this far into the video, thank you. 
Also, leave a comment letting me know if you guys want me to do anti-pickup lines or if you guys want me to do makeup tips and tricks. Because some people don't know how to do makeup. <laughs> and there are people, like, who actually don't know. And then there are people who do it for, like, a living and they do it wrong. And I'm just like... You need help. I'm sorry if you can hear that. There are people in the hallway. Okay. Here we go. Okay, this one, again, I'm gonna review, but I might, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of it afterwards, probably, so, let me wipe this off, so that, uh, oh my goodness. Ugh, my lips are gonna hate me, but... Oh well, I'll just put it on chapstick when I'm done with this. Okay. I wanted to show you guys, literally this is Tuggy, the same way the red one was. Okay, hold on. Right there, do you see that? Do you see that tug? I think because I do have so many new lipsticks already I don't really need another one and this is not that expensive it's like three dollars so if I really want another one I can go buy one and their cream finish ones are like 98 cents so if I really really want it again I can go rebuy it but I don't know, I was feeling it for a minute, but now I, I just, I'm not, so I guess that helps. I'm getting rid of, in total, one, two, three, four, five, and not to mention all the ones I'm going to get rid of after I review them, so you might just get a bunch of reviews back to back just to knock those out of the way. And then I do have some other videos coming up for you guys. I have an unboxing coming up actually in about a week or two. I'm supposed to be getting a box from one of my friends. So I'm excited about that. It's just kind of got to, I don't know what she put in it. I don't know. So I'm excited about that though. So I'm going to take this off and go hop in the shower and wash these swatches off my hand. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.